Coronation Street celebrated its 60th anniversary last night by, well, killing off its most hated character. For two years, we have seen Jeff abusing his wife, Yasmin, and in a shock ending, he finally met his fate. If the plan is to push me, you just look me in the eye and know I'm not scared of you anymore. Don't just lie there. Help me. He'll pull you down with him. Listen to me! Not her. No! No, he doesn't deserve it. He's beyond her. No, I'm not. Again, you stupid woman! Well, Corey's Jeff actor Ian Bartholomew joins me now. Wow, the end of Evil Jeff. It's been a long time coming. Is there a sense of relief that you've had, you, that you've finally let him go? Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I've been with most of the audience who's been watching. I don't like Jeff either, and having to do all that stuff to my lovely friend Shelley every day for the last two years has been quite disturbing and, and, and difficult. Especially that scene, I don't know if you remember, when, when he made her uh, change into that red dress, it was oh, heartbreaking. Yes. And it, it was, was it's a difficult watch, just being in the room. Was 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 hard work. There it is. Yeah, I remember um, it. I remember it so so well. I remember it vividly. And that was the thing about it, though. The whole thing about it, Ian, was that it was a slow burner. You know, it doesn't just didn't happen overnight. It was very much kind of what would happen in real life. That you know, gradually, she is completely yeah. broken down by this man. Yeah, that was the idea behind the the, the, the way that we did the storyline was to to make it as real and as truthful and as um, you know lifelike, if you like, as possible. Uh, and it does, it takes a while for even the victim in those circumstances to realize what's happening to them. And everything gets stripped away from them, their autonomy. Uh, in, in Yasmin's case, he was in charge of her bank accounts. We wouldn't let her go out to see her friends, accused her of being an alcoholic and just traduced her into this, this small mouse-like creature who at one time had been a very, very strong woman. So d difficult stuff to watch and to do. But what I won't miss, I have to say, is going into work uh, to, to Coronation Street and being around everybody, because I've had a fantastic time there. They've, they've been brilliant and I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. No, they have. They're a great bunch. They really are, especially especially right now. There's such and there's such love for the show. And um, the thing about it was, you said how tough it was to play that part, and you did have to have a bit of counselling, didn't you? Just to, you know, just to try and get get him out of your head. You didn't want to bring him home with you to your to your family. Yeah, I had to find a way of disassociating myself from Jeff uh, every day. Um, and luckily, I've got a very, very understanding family. But uh, sometimes you need a bit of professional help. And I asked the producers if they'd supply me with somebody I could, I could talk to. Mm. And I had a few sessions just before we went into lockdown, actually. And um, it helped greatly because yeah. I could... I could just offload and I said, I'm, I'm, I'm literally coming in here to dump on you now. Sorry about that, but here you are, yeah. take that. And he was fantastically um, understanding and very, very helpful. It was good, it did me, it, it did me good. I think so. I think that was very wise of you. Very, very wise of you to do that. I think it's a it's a brilliant thing. The trust between you and Shelley, who plays Yasmin, was key to this, wasn't it? I mean, as as two actors, as two, I mean, she's your friend, and then you have to turn into this horrible, evil monster. And um, but that that trust between the two of you, you wouldn't have been able to do it without that. I think it's easier when when you are friends with someone. But yes, we do trust each other, and. We trust each other to tell each other the truth. So if it wasn't as good as we thought it might be or as it should be, we'd say something to each other. And in that respect, we we helped each other through. But we always focused on the fact that it was a very important storyline, a very important thing to say and get it to a wider public because this is something that goes on behind closed doors. And um, what we're very proud of is that we've managed to bring it out into the light, through the front door, into the light, into mm. the street and say, look, this happens. Uh, we've got to do something about it, both as a society and as individuals. We've got to take responsibility for it and discuss it and deal with it. Absolutely. It's, it's hugely important, particularly in lockdown, sadly. We have seen numbers of abuse cases going up and it's, it's absolutely tragic. But you, by, by doing this storyline, I think you've got people, as you say, to talk about this. And I know that you've been working very closely with charities like Women's Aid and... Yeah. 
there's a single, there's a Christmas single, isn't there, on behalf of Women's Aid? Because you can really sing. Um, it's something I've done for a very long time. So, yeah, I, I, I sing all, all around the house. I do quite a lot of singing and have done for years. Um, I wouldn't call it a Christmas single. It's just coming out now because this, this was the right timing. Right, right. Um, yeah, with, uh, with uh, Women's Aid's help, we've, we've got this out there. And I think it was an emotional response to all the news articles about domestic abuse going through the roof and uh, another way of disassociating myself from Jeff and I just needed to get rid of him I need to get rid of all that sort of work with the research that I'd done just to it, it came out in a song in an emotional response as oh, a song it's, and it's um, a fantastic I'm very pleased to say that it uh, it sounds all right it sounds more than all right behave yourself it sounds really good I mean you're going to go down as one of the all-time baddest baddies that have ever been in Coronation Street. And I mean, and there's a lot of competition, but that will always be with you. And I think you should be actually really proud of that. Oh yeah. It's I'm, made such I'm, an, you know, it's made such an impact. I do solemnly. Yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly honored to have been given such a fantastic role. And especially the culmination of it being on the 60th anniversary episodes. I mean, I, you know, it, it, these opportunities don't come around very often and you have to enjoy them. And, and, and afterwards, I'll be able to look back on it and say, yeah, I did that. Great. Yeah. I'm, I'm very I'm proud of it. And as I say, it was it was a way of, of highlighting a very, very important issue as well at the same time. So all good, really, for me, no, as far absolutely. as I'm concerned. And we saw at the end there, it did not go unnoticed that he was getting pecked at by the chickens who were getting their revenge. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember he was so yeah. horrible? He killed one of the chickens and fed it to. I mean, it was just oh, it was just the most awfulest thing. Well, that was when he started to get really mean yeah. and cruel. Yes. It was when the when 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 he started to get really cruel and vicious. That's when I found it the most difficult. I could I could cope with it up until then. Uh, but uh, from that moment on, it started to really ramp up, and his mm. his unpleasantness just took on another, went yes. on to another level. It took absolutely, on another it absolutely did. Ian, obviously, there's going to be a lot of fallout for Yasmin. You know, we, we're, we'll see that over the coming months, and, and probably yeah. well into well into the new year, because she's got to somehow cope with what happened. But for well, you. This is, this is not it's, it's, it's the end. It's not the end of a story for Yasmin. It's no, the beginning of a story for Yasmin. Absolutely, it is, and it'll be really fascinating to watch that. But for you, what, what's next? Are you going to take a, a very welcome rest and then see what comes up? Well, Christmas, uh, uh, providing it's not cancelled, of course. I'll be having my jab as soon as I can get one. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I, you know, if, if, if I'm just going to see, I've never yeah. been one to to plan my career. So I'm just waiting to see what happens next. I've got an agent who's working on it, I hope. And uh, if nothing comes up, I'll just do a bit of gardening and do stuff around the house. There's plenty to do, believe me. Well, I think you'll be in high demand. And thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank it was you. a remarkable storyline. And <clears throat> like I say, it's helped so many people. Thank you. Thank you. Great to talk to you, Lorraine. Thank Have you. Have a great Christmas. And you know what? Thank if you've you been affected by Jeff and Yasmin's storyline in any way, obviously we'll put helplines on our website. So make sure that you do talk about it. Don't keep it all bottled up. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.